All right. All right, hey guys, Josh for the Unique Customizations. We're back here. Uh, got Brad, he's gonna be helping us today. Tyler's in the background, he's gonna be running the camera. We got a 2021 Jeep Gladiator. We're installing a Blue Ox uh, base plate system. Customer got a new vehicle and we're gonna set it up for him. They already had the Blue Ox tow bar, so just made sense to go back with another Blue Ox base plate. Uh, the part number for this is BX1145. And that's gonna be the base plate that's down here. We got some pictures of that. Uh, and then for the wiring of the lights, we've got a Blue Ox Easy Light Wiring Kit. And this part number is BX88368. We'll put all those in the, uh, the information below so you can get the part numbers. What this kit, again, enables you to do is you make one disconnection of the wiring harness in the back of the unit, plug this in, run the wire up here to the front, and the lights are set up. There's no, no cutting of the wires or doing anything like that. So we're gonna grab a few tools and get started. Give him a flex. Yes. Uh, sure uh, flex. Big enough. <laughs> <laughs> a face full of celebration. I'm gonna set this up. Too. All right. So what we've got to do now is this uh, hole in the frame here. Eventually we're gonna have to insert these cap captive nuts here. They've got to go inside the frame for when we bolt this up. This hole's not big enough. Um, what they recommend using is some kind of like a die grinder or something to basically elongate this hole. What we're gonna try to do is I'll drill a little pilot hole up above and then we're going to use this step bit to try to just continue to widen it until it kind of meets into this and we'll see how that works All right, so we're gonna show you a little close-up view of what we did. Got the notch here. Now our awesome little captive bolts. Slide right inside there. Now we're getting ready to mount the actual base plate up here. It's gonna go on the side. Somewhere along like this, it's gonna go through a bunch of the existing holes. And so we're gonna figure that out right now go from there all right so next update we've moved got some progress show you a couple of things that we've learned in doing this so in the beginning the directions tell you to take off these little plates here they look like this and if you loosen this bolt this part drops off well there's no reason to take off the inside ones they don't they don't affect anything the outside ones which is right here they have you take this one off um, because you got to take the mounting bolt out. Now, if you grab a vice grip like we did here and hook it on before you take this bolt out, it won't move and then it's just there. Then you can just hang the bracket back on that same bolt and you move on. These three bolts down here all line up with, with existing holes and then there's a spacer plate, which is the tab sticks out the back and that goes in there. 
Another thing that isn't in the directions is the this little splash guard thing that you guys saw sitting around earlier. It goes across right here. We took that out because the access, you can kind of see down in there, those holes where all these captive nuts go on, uh, it's kind of in the way because it actually sits here and goes down like this. It goes in that hole right there. So we took that out. That's the other 16 millimeter bolt. If you pop that out, that'll make it a lot easier to get this stuff mounted up. Now the last step in this before we really start going back together is right here. We're going to drill a half inch hole for these nuts or this bolt is going to go in here. It comes with a big large spacer. This is the spacer. It sits down there between the frame and then the last captive bolts that we have run through the big hole. That, the whole reason we had to make this wider was so this will go down in here and grab that and grab that bolt. So we'll get that done. We'll show you what that looks like. Then we'll start putting it back together and see what we how it goes from there. All right, guys, another quick update. We got everything back together. Uh, now we're getting ready to put the bumper back on. These include these permanently mounted uh, safety chains, and they've got to go around. These go around the torsion bar. It's an extra precaution if all these bolts somehow broke. And while we're on the subject of the bolts, I know you guys didn't see it on the camera because we've been kind of cutting in and out, but make sure all these bolts have red Loctite on them. They do have lock washers, but the directions do require. Uh, we've already gone ahead and torqued everything to the specs that are in the directions. Now the next phase is the splash guard down here. We've got it marked with some little permanent marker here where we're gonna have to cut some slots. There'll be a groove comes down across here. We're gonna cut out where the base plate will go in and then we'll have it installed. So check it out. All right, so we got all the front put back together. Everything snapped in. So what she's looking like. Now we're back in the back. Show you what that's looking like. So this kit's pretty simple. We gotta take out two screws to drop the taillight assembly off. Behind the headlight, we disconnect the headlight harness from the headlight, pop it in there, put the other in there. Run this wire down and underneath back over to the other side. Hook up that, that tail light of me. And then we're gonna run this all the way up to the front. And for this particular customer, we are going to cut off this four-way and put a seven-way or a six-way plug that will work with his cord that he already has. So nothing real exciting to see, but uh, we're gonna get this knocked out and finished. And we'll give you a real quick view of the completed everything and That'll be it for the day. Uh, today we got a 2021 Jeep Gladiator. We're going to be installing a Blue Ox tow bar. Hold on, hold on. All right, All right guys, Josh. Oh, wait. <laughs> I don't know why he's looking at him.